I'm at a place in my life where I am just done with the second guessing myself. I'm done with having not enough confidence in myself and the way I speak and the way I go. Um, I'm just at a place where it's like, I am fully, I have been with myself and I have sat with myself long enough to understand myself. So it's like, whatever I am putting out, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Whatever I am putting out, I trust it, I believe it, and it's valid. Um, I am at a place now where I'm understanding that so many people have different opinions and different perspectives in life and different ways of going about life and that I have to learn what works for me. Because if I continue to try to hold on and listen to what everyone else is saying about what works for them in their life, not to say I can't listen and take it in and respect it, but I have to, at the end of the day, figure out what works for me and hold on to that in my life. and stop being so swayed to do this because of this works for someone or this works for that person. But I'm at a place now where I trust myself and I believe in myself and I'm not 100% there, but I'm taking each step like to get to that point. Hence why I am making this video now. Um, a little bit have a like beep, 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 beep in my heart uh, making this video, but it's because just to show myself and just to prove to myself that everything that I believe about myself is true. And for me, that is creating this video because I have a hard time. Like I can have conversations with friends or people that are close to me and give them my wisdom and share deep knowledge and go into deep conversation and help them. But it's hard for me when it comes to me being in front of a camera or like if I'm being interviewed and someone's asking me questions. And I came to the conclusion that um, that stems from me wanting to be a people pleaser and trying to say things to appease a crowd. So for example, if I'm getting interviewed, someone's sitting here and um, the camera's here, so I'm thinking, okay, what would the audience wanna hear? But no, what would this person wanna hear? So now when it comes to someone asking me questions, I'm having a hard time answering questions because I'm like trying to please both people um, when now I'm at a point where and I'm it's something progressively happening where I'm at a point where um, I am tapping into what I feel internally. I cannot like please people on here and please people here and then at the end of the day I'm not happy with myself and what I said but if I can just tune in to here tune in internally then at the end of the day I'm going to be happy with myself because you know whether or not it sounded good to you or good to anyone else I know what I was speaking was true for me and it came from my heart whether it came out all jibber jabberish or what but it came from my heart and you know if nobody understands it at the end of the day, at least I know where I came from. You get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, this video is a huge step for me into taking that. And one of the things what may, is making me more push forward to this and doing this is because the other day I was faced to um, do an interview. Do um, This girl just wanted to ask me some questions for her um, business that she has. And this was the second time that I backed out and I was actually in the environment, seen someone else go and the girl that went before me and she was like stutter, like, you know, not stuttering, but she was like tripping up over her words, but she was still up there and she was still doing it. And guess what I did? I said, um, I, you know, I have, I did have somewhere to go, but I was just like, uh, I think I'm just going to go, um, when it was my turn. And it, I just walked out and I was just so upset and disappointed with myself because it's like, I have this inside of me. I can answer questions. I'm not, but it's just so hard for me in these moments to use my voice and to speak up. And my, what I start to feel in those moments is my heart starts pounding. I start thinking, oh my gosh, what if I say it like this? What if this? How am I going to answer? I don't know. I don't know the right answers. And it's just me trying to keep this perfect image. And I think 
with me growing up on Instagram, this perfect image has been so ingrained in me because like I started Instagram profile at 15 years old and it, it just like at that time it wasn't like over the perfect like you just posted things but over time gradually um it was like perfect like you have to pose a certain like you have to look a certain way and it was just like I felt like every single thing had to be perfect and that's how I posted things and so I feel like that had some type of effect on me when it comes to being and answering questions not saying that's the whole thing and why i am this way but i feel like it had a little bit of an effect um when it comes to especially speaking on camera and knowing that someone on online is going to see me so i'm like oh i need to be perfect i need to be this so um yeah i just walked out of the thing and i was just so upset with myself i was really upset um but now I'm like taking this step and trying to push myself to get a little bit more uncomfortable. And if I mess it up, the crazy thing is if I mess it up, who cares? Who freaking cares? You know, like if I say something bad, if I say something wrong, like who cares? And that's one thing like I feel like a lot of people need to understand I need to understand is at the end of the day like a lot of people are only worried about themselves and they're not worried about you and what you have going on like okay so what oh they can laugh and say oh she said this word instead of this word and <laughs> oh dude something just came to my mind so last night I was actually watching uh <laughs> I was watching uh, Trump and Biden the debate thing and Biden was up there and he was just stumbling over his words and he was like falling asleep at the mic and I was just thinking I was like if we can have a president of the United States that is literally stumbling up over the words and following it falling asleep at the mic what what is this thing inside of me that is just like feels I have to be so perfect when the man who stands up in front of the United States of America is like this in front of the camera and speaking. So it's like, why am I putting so much pressure on myself to be this perfect when I'm speaking and when I'm sharing things? And not to compare me, I'm just like saying like, come on. Like when you see stuff like that, it's like, like people really listen to this guy. You know, they really are voting for this guy. And I'm like tripping over one word that I said wrong and feeling like nobody's gonna ever believe me. And I'm like, or listen to me. And I'm just like, it kind of just snaps you out when you see stuff like that. It's just like, wait a minute. I'm just overthinking. And that's one of my problems too. I can go on to another rant about that, but um yeah so i've actually did three videos like this um like over a course of time i think like two or three weeks ago i did a video like this and i filmed each day but i have not uploaded them and i don't intend to because i feel like this is going to be my first video um and I just watched them. I was like, oh, no, I'm not posting it. Oh, no, I'm not posting it because I said this or I got too many cuts. But or I want to keep it natural. I want it to not have cuts. But I'm at a point, Haley, you just have to trust yourself. And I'm sharing this with you guys because it's just like I feel like at the end of the day, maybe to be relatable, but at the end of the day that we all have these things and some of us are just good at covering up than others like you get on here you see people talking you see people doing those things you want to do um but the thing the difference between you and them is just they believe in themselves and they trust themselves enough to go up and to do this and to do that it's just like we have to just look at ourselves in the mirror and say you know what i trust you enough to go step out and do this to try this to be this and that's the only difference yes these other people may have more eyes more money more whatever on them more confident or whatever but it's like at the end of the day you have all that oh you have everything you need inside of you the the views the 
audience, the likes, the co whatever, like all of this stuff does not matter. It, what matters is just how you view yourself and what is inside of you. Because someone who is confident, someone who trusts themselves and believes themselves, it's going to show up in ways that a lot of people like look up to, a lot of people want. That's why a lot of um, people who are very confident and kind of can speak and do these videos and do these two different types of things that you want you and I want to do have an audience is because they believe in themselves the reason I'm doing this video is because I believe in myself and I'm pushing myself for more and you will never get anywhere by just hoping and just wishing you have to get up and do it trust yourself and get uncomfortable. I'm, I'm telling you, it's mostly that uncomfortable thing that just really gets most of us. But I hope this video that me getting uncomfortable and just, I don't even know what I just shared in the last eight minutes, but about me sharing this and getting uncomfortable will encourage you to take that step in whatever area of your life. Um, because I feel like once you do that, you will start to see yourself show up better in all areas and that's what i am all about is personal development and being better and showing up better and i understand if i want to coach and share to people about becoming better like i have to be willing to challenge myself to be being better as well and so this is why this video is here because i am challenging myself to be better and yeah so let's see how this goes so i hope to continue to to post videos like this and not be so hard on myself. And I hope you aren't hard on yourself either because we are learning, we are growing, and we are becoming. So who knows what will happen, but I hope that you continue to just try your best. And I know I sound like someone just saying it over and over, but a lot of times we just need someone to say it over and over. Um, but yes, good luck and I wish you the best as you are becoming the best version of yourself.